Hey everybody and welcome back to Jim's Garage. Just a quick video today because I want to kickstart an upgrade that I've had planned for a while and that is to upgrade my CCTV and to also test out this cool little toy that was sent to me by Nofaya. It's a network cable tester but it's also a network cable finder. So in this video I'm going to be deploying a new camera and also checking to make sure that the cables I'm going to externally route to my house are actually working prior to implementation. There's nothing more frustrating than wiring a cable only to find out on the other end that there's something wrong, it's broken, doesn't work and you're going to have to do it all again. Now all of this is a precursor to something I mentioned in an earlier video whereby I'm looking to revisit all of the Unify stack. You know at the moment when I use OpenSense, I've got a cluster, all of that sort of stuff. But I want to test out Unify again because of the recent updates, that 9.3, etc., which I will be doing in detail. Also, as part of the Dream Machine Pro, I've got to test out now the Unify NVR and the new capabilities around Unify Protect. So this forms part of a precursor to that. I want to upgrade to the latest cameras, the ones that have some AI detection built into them, and I want to see how the Unify Protect fares up. You know that I love Frigga and that's going to be hard to come away from, but I'd be no good at what I'm doing here on this channel if I didn't test out the latest and greatest and the most recent developments. I'll be covering all of that process in upcoming videos, but for now I've just got to get the hardware stuff out of the way. So here we have the camera that I'm going to install here. This is the G5 Flex. And this is the first one I'm going to install. I do have a couple of others to go up, the turret and the bullet, I believe. And this is the tester that I'm going to use. This basically, you plug in your cable into here, and you can also plug it into there for a quality check. When you plug that in, it basically gives you a bunch of lights to basically show if it's working. And this one is actually quite handy because it's a cable finder. So when you plug it into here, it sends a unique signal and then this will be able to pick it up. So as a quick demonstration, if I take this RJ45 cable and plug it into this top port here, when I plug this in, and then if I turn it on by moving the switch here, we should get some green lights. So when it's going through one to eight, that means that all the cables, because it's made up of eight cables, it's four twisted pairs, all of those are right. Now we can also then turn this device on and what this device is able to do is to basically pick up the signals this is sending. So if I turn this on, it's now scanning. And if I put this to this cable, we can see that it's now beeping. And how many red lights it gets is dependent on basically how close you are to the cable. So whilst in a home lab, this might not be that useful if you haven't got very many cables. Obviously in an enterprise setup where you need to find cables, you've got reels, etc. This could be a lifesaver. Now I've only been using this for a little while. It's been great so far. I can't attest to how good it would be in a massive enterprise scale, but so far, so good. Anyway, let's now get onto the deployment and then we're going to test this again outside just to make sure that the cable I've routed actually works. Now the cable I've chosen for this is Outdoor Cat 6 rated and that should be more than enough for what I need to use. This is only a 10 megabit connection anyway. The main reason I got this was just because it seemed to be pretty affordable plus it had the necessary rating to be outdoor. Again, this is just the UK, it's not going to have to survive a blizzard, it just needs to provide some shelter for the cables and most of this as you'll see later in the video is actually tacked onto the side of the house and even the camera itself does go underneath the gutter which does provide it some protection. So I've simply stripped the end off here with my trusty wire cutters and now I'm going to add on now the RJ45 jack to the end of this cable. Now with that completed, I'm gonna put this into the switch and I'm actually gonna test that I didn't nose this up. And then once I've confirmed that I've actually got this working, I'll be putting this outside. So this end is the one that's gonna eventually go into the camera. The other end, which is the bare wire, is gonna go down into the punch plate that I've got in my server rack. I'll then be able to test that using some sort of switch. So now with the cable punched down into the jack plate, it's in port 8 and that's connected to the switch. I should now be able to put the other end, the RJ45 that I've just terminated, into the tester and fingers crossed we get the green lights to prove that yep everything's okay. At which point I'm then going to be able to route this outside and hopefully connect up the camera. And so looking at it now I think we're okay. Each light's going through blinking. It does look like there might be some issues with the double blinks. I'll have to double check what that means but I'm gonna go ahead and try and power the camera on anyway. So I did in the end double check the cable and rewired it so that I didn't have that weird double blink on the three and six, 
But here you can see I passed the cable through the air brick to the outside of the house, making sure that it immediately dips so you don't get any water ingress following the cable line and then wrapped it round to where I was going to seat the camera. And so now a quick double check in Frigate, we can see that the camera is up and running. Now this is obviously still running Frigate, I haven't quite severed ties yet, but that's predominantly because I haven't actually migrated to my Unify stack. That will come in subsequent videos. So for now I'm happy that I've managed to install the new camera, that's got that AI detection capability, and from here on in I basically need to now install that Unify kit, and fingers crossed that should be picked up and adopted, and we're going to have the benefits of that AI detection. I do have some of that within Frigate, but it does seem as though the Unify is a little bit more advanced, and also it's going to be more well integrated into things like like alerting, notifications, all of that sort of stuff, which is predominantly the reason why I want this in the first place. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be adding the extra cameras as well that I also received into this installation and I'll be wiring up exactly the same way, doing all of the same testing and those things. Now this will be the precursor in the following video series. I will be moving over to the Unify stack. Part of that is not just the camera AI but it's also things like the Dream Machine and that new switch. I'm really keen to go and test that out. Now I'm not saying I'm going to stick with that. Again this is all about testing it, finding out what the new features are and basically comparing it with what I've already got. Really keen to see how it shapes up. Excited with all the new features that I've seen. So yeah, here's hoping. Anyway, as always, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.